nice Tuscan style homes, single family. As I said, built in 2016, so all newer construction. One of the things I love about the neighborhood, all of the streets are paved with pavers. A nice little detail. I don't know if you can see off in the distance today, but you can see actually the snow-capped mountains from the uh, front of the driveway today. So, um, nice tall doors throughout. Okay, and now we're into the main house. And you see we've got an entry hallway. Uh, the two guest bedrooms are off to the right as you come into the home. And we'll tour those in just a little bit. And then to the left, we have the den slash office. Could make a nice separate TV room. So it's nice to have the three bedrooms plus the additional space uh, in this office. This, uh, this space is uh, carpeted. The rest of the house, uh, except for the bedrooms, has a nice porcelain tile. You do have, off of the uh, entryway, a powder room. So again, everything nice and new, just uh, built in 2016. As you come in at the end of the hallway, You've really got a nice open floor plan here. So you've got a nice chef's kitchen over onto the left. You've got the dining room off to the far side. And then if we come over this direction, you've got a nice uh, good size living space as well. And this home, they actually put in a little uh, eat-in kitchen area and uh, it's coronavirus time. So somebody clearly is uh, enjoying their puzzles. So let's just walk around the space. It's really fantastic. I love the open floor plan. So when you're entertaining, which we're often doing in the desert, uh, if you're the one who's preparing the meal, you have direct uh, communication to all of your guests. You can see them, talk to them, have a glass of wine with them. This uh, great kitchen island, I love. It's really big. I know one of the residents bakes, and one of the reasons he liked this home was he had a really big counter space for all of the, um, uh, all of the pies and all the pastries that he would bake. Uh, you've got seating for four here at the bar. One of the things I love, you've got two ovens and a microwave. Often you'll see in some of the newer homes, you have just one oven and then the microwave. So you really got, uh, for the person who loves to cook, you've got great amenities here. A gas cooktop, which is awesome. And then you have stainless steel fridge. And then right off of here, so we can get inside. You have a really big pantry. So I mean, you've got lots of storage. If you're doing the Costco thing and you're stocking up, you've got plenty of room. And then they have a little built-in here, which can serve as a little uh, place to you know, check out your recipes, put your iPad while you're doing some cooking in the kitchen. So off of the main living space, you have the master suite. Let's come in here. And the master suite's a nice size. I mean, this one's uh, big enough they actually have a little sitting area uh, at the far end of it. And the back, uh, this is at the rear of the home facing south. So you've actually got some views out this direction and you actually have access directly to the, uh, the rear patio. So let's have a look at the master back from this viewpoint. There's the entry from the uh, hallway. And then a really, really nice master bath. You've got your dual vanities. If you are a bath person, you've got a really large soaking tub, which is really nice. And then when we'll swing around here, you can see you've got a separate shower. 
Okay, really nice. A lot of space. Shower is a good size. Has a nice little bench so for the ladies. Got the perfect place to put that leg up there where you shave the legs. And then a proper water closet over here, separate. So it's really nice. It's a nice, large master space. Right off of the, uh, the main hallway. So let's come down the hallway and check out the master, uh, the guest bedrooms. So both of the guest bedrooms are separated at the other end of the house from the master, which is a great feature. They have one bathroom that they share in between the two. You know, nicely done, consistent finishes throughout. One of the upgrades here is they did upgrade the, uh, the flooring in this uh, guest bathroom. So this is the first guest bedroom, at the very front of the house. Again, you'll notice the plantation shutters on every room in the home. So that's a nice feature, especially out here in the desert. When it gets up to 100 degrees, it's nice to be able to cover those windows in the afternoon. And then right across the hall, we have the second guest bedroom. Got some nice bright colors in here, brighten this room up. Again, you can see it's a spacious uh, bedroom. You've got um, two beds in here, decent amount of furniture, so there's quite a bit of space in here. I love the detail of the doors, not just your standard basic you know, Home Depot doors, but you really have nice quality finishes in the home, which is awesome. And then of course, one of the upgrades in all of the rooms, they put in um, newer ceiling fans. So you've got some nice contemporary ceiling fans in the home. So let's go back out and uh, I wanna talk a little bit about the community. Oh, one last thing, the garage. Important, all important. Two car garage with direct access. So you can see here, it's nice that they've got actually some little windows in the garage door, so you don't need the light during the daytime to get out here. Everything's completely finished. As I mentioned, the home has solar electric, so here's the solar. So lots of room in the uh, garage for storage as well. All right, so let's come back into the main living space. The outside, this house has some nice views from the uh, rear patio. So let's check out the exterior of the home. I get the door open, it's a little warm out. But here you can see we've got a nice covered patio. And right now you've got some nice mountain views off in the distance. Now they are going to be doing some uh, building some new homes. They built some models and there's some new construction. So there will be some homes at some point built back here, but you'll still have, uh, over the tops of them, you'll have some fantastic views. And of course, this is all covered 
which is nice. It keeps the hot sun from coming into the into the interior of the home. We get back inside because it is hot, hot, hot. Now you can see here. Got uh, the main living room space set up here. The furnishings of this home are available for purchase separately outside of escrow. So if anyone would be interested, got some beautiful pieces in here. Blue is this year's color, and so you see a lot of blue in here, and the touches of orange make a nice contrast. but nice open floor plan, really fantastic space. One of the great things about this community is uh, the amenities that the club offers. I wanna talk about those for just a minute. Now the HOA fees here are $659 a month. And the HOA fees do include your uh, cable TV and your internet service. Uh, one of the things people buy when they come into Villa Portofino is you're buying into lifestyle. Um, this community, as I said, it's an over 55 community, all recently built. Uh, it has a movie theater. They have a card room on site, a billiard room, a really nice fitness center. Uh, the restaurant, the bistro at the Villa Portofino is a popular gathering spot. Um, normally, when we're not in uh, the stay at home order, uh, they have daily happy hours at the bistro. Uh, the Saturday uh, Bloody Mary bar is very popular. Pasta and taco nights, always local favorites here. And uh, they have supper clubs and special events. So that's uh, one of the uh, benefits of Villa Portofino. Also, they have a large community pool. So it's a great place to relax and uh, hang out with your neighbors. And uh, when the weather's nice, uh, out by the pool, uh, the Bistro has uh, outdoor dining. So again, furnishings are available for purchase. If somebody has interest in any of the furnishings, those would be uh, available as a separate purchase. And we'll just highlight some of the items in the home so that you can have a little closer look at them. Beautiful sofa. And then one of my favorites, absolutely love this chair. So again, you've got this nice entry hallway, right off of the entry hallway. You do have a, a powder room. And one of the things you'll uh, notice in here, all the rooms, even in this powder room, nice high, um, uh, high ceilings, which makes everything feel nice and bright. Again, three bedroom, three bath plus a den slash office to make a great TV room. There is no uh, closet in this uh, room, so it can't be considered a bedroom, but you could use it for a fourth bedroom if that was something that was important to you. And then again, off of the, uh, the other opposite end of the house from the master are the two guest bedrooms. This one at the very front of the house. Good size room. And again, furnishings could be available for purchase separately. So this is the first guest bedroom. We'll go back into the second guest bedroom right across the hallway from the first guest bedroom. 
Again, nice size rooms. Plantation shutters on all the windows throughout. High ceilings. All of the ceiling fans, fans are newer. Nice contemporary design. And we'll come back down the hallway again and have another look at the main living space. One of the great things about these high ceilings and these big walls, as you may have noticed, lots of space to put in some nice artwork. Oops, that was uh, operator error. Sorry about that. Again, a lot of space here for artwork or some nice furnish furnishings that you may have for the home. Great open floor plan. Really popular in the desert for our entertaining. Get the living room, the dining room, and then the nice big kitchen. The kitchen island is fantastic. Really large, seating for four. Nice big pantry, perfect for those Costco stock up trips that we all seem to be doing these days. Again, the home was built in 2016, so everything is newer in here, newer appliances, all stainless steel. Two ovens and a microwave, a gas range. Do have a laundry room right off of the kitchen. So it's a very comfortable home. Three bedroom, three bath plus den, 2,344 square feet, asking $525,000 unfurnished. One more look at the back patio. It's got the great views outside. If you squint really hard, you can see snow top mountains back there. It's about 99 degrees today, so, so something you'll find that's not uncommon on our patios. We actually have ceiling fans outside. It makes it a little bit nicer to be out here when the weather's a little warm. Door closed, keep the air in. So this is our home at 4447 Via del Pellegrino in Palm Desert. If you want to get all of the property details or information, you can go online. Just go to www.thehamiltonregroup.com. Click on our listings and you'll find this, uh, this uh, home uh, on the our listings tab. You'll find not only the photos of the home and the property details, but we do have a nice 3D virtual tour. So you can actually click on a floor plan of the house, uh, click on the rooms, go directly to each room, and you can actually walk through it room by room at your own pace. So it's a great little uh, way to get familiar with the house uh, in a little bit more detail. Again, the HOA's uh, uh, 659 a month does include the cable uh, and the internet and uh, a lot of the great amenities at the club. Clubhouse with uh, a movie theater, uh, the bistro uh, restaurant, billiard rooms, card rooms, uh, a lot of great amenities at the club. The community pool is a fantastic asset, really beautiful there. And those views that you see from the back patio here you have from that community pool, so it's a great uh, 
a great place to hang out with your neighbors and friends. We'll have one last look at the master bath and then we'll, we'll wrap up the tour for today. Again, you can find the 3D virtual tour, all the photos and details for this property at www.thehamiltonregroup.com. And don't forget to, if you haven't yet, like our Facebook business page. That way you'll get notified anytime we're online doing um, any online videos or live virtual tours like we're doing at this house today. So if anybody has any questions, let me know. You can always, um, you can always drop them uh, to me an email, dan at thehamiltonregroup.com, or you can call or text at 760-625-7229. So I hope you enjoyed the tour today. Uh, it will, the video will be saved on our Facebook business page. If you know anybody who couldn't join us that might want to uh, enjoy it, just uh, send it to them and uh, just share it from our business page and they'll have access to the video afterwards. So uh, I want to thank everyone for joining us and uh, hope you're having a great Saturday and uh, we'll talk soon.